One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course. Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. Y'all it's coming. Profit podcasting is about to open again for enrollment, and I am so dang excited. Oh my gosh, if you've been wanting to learn how to start, launch, and market your podcast from me and all the things that I learn and I teach and I do every single week for this podcast, I would love to see you in the class. Go to ProfitPodcasting.com to learn more and I cannot wait to see you in our private Facebook group for students only where you can ask all the questions and we can talk about all the things for your podcast. So again, go to ProfitPodcasting.com to learn more. So we're doing something a little different today because we are going to talk about some four letter words. Yes, we are going to get into explicit content and what does that mean? Because there are a lot of questions and I have seen so many people asking about this lately. So we're going to cover, co cover, cover all the things about explicit content today. So let's get right to it. Welcome to the Profit Podcast, where we teach entrepreneurs how to start, launch, and market their podcast. I'm your host, Crystal Prophet, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Because if you've been thinking about creating a podcast for a while, well, I'm so glad you found this show. Think of this as the shortcut slash time-saving version of searching Google and YouTube for hours and hours trying to figure out the world of podcasting. Trust me, as a busy mama of three, I get it. You don't have a lot of time to be spent or wasted, I should say, searching the web, trying to find all the right ideas and all the amazing things that are out there and you just end up overwhelmed. Trust me, I've been there, done that, took home the souvenir. 
But this podcast is going to help you in practical ways because twice a week we'll be delivering episodes that are going to give you steps to help you create a podcast your audience can't wait to listen to. So let's get right to it, shall we? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's all get a little comfortable to get a little uncomfortable today. Don't worry if you have little kids in the car or if you're listening to this somewhere else. I'm not just going to throw out all the possible ways that explicit content can exist. Don't worry. I'm not going to have a potty mouth today. No pun intended. Get it? P-O-D-D-Y. Potty mouth. Oh my gosh. Y'all, let's just a little quick side note. I really, really wanted to use potty mouths as a membership. I'm working on a membership for podcasters and I really, really, really wanted to use potty mouths, but it's already taken and I am so upset about it. So shout out to whoever thought of using that because it's genius. And I thought I was going to be like, yes, I had this brilliant idea. It was all mine. No, it's already taken. So we're just going to have, we're going to, we're going to keep working on the name of the podcast membership that we're working on. But if you have any ideas, I would love to know because Potty Mouse was just so good. I'm so upset about it. But anyway, I digress. I want to get back into talking about those four letter words because I have seen a lot of questions about, should I mark this as explicit or is this okay? Or is like, am I going to get a knock on my door saying that, ooh, that was actually explicit. We're going to shut your whole account down. Okay, first of all, let's talk about what explicit content is. And I looked it up and uh, on Spotify, it had listed, actually, let me pull it back up because I brought it up and then I was like, well, I mean, is that for everybody? But this is the definition from Spotify about their explicit content. It says, They offer music as the artist intends it to be heard. So it can sometimes include explicit content. Look out for the explicit tag on any releases. Note, our explicit content tags are applied based on information we receive from rights holders. We can't guarantee all explicit content is marked as such. And that's probably the same with your podcast. The only reason why I um, I shared their definition is because it was kind of the best way to describe how it kind of works in the podcast world because that was really for music. But for podcasters, I want you to understand it's still pretty subjective. I think that um, culturally we can agree that there are certain four-letter words that are like, oh, yeah, no, that's a bad one you definitely don't want to I'm thinking about like my 10 year old or my 8 year old listening to this so I'm like the F word is a definite no no and then the SH word is a definite no no but then you kind of get into this gray area of where you would hear the word damn d-a-m-n and think oh my gosh like that's such a bad word and that might be a really bad word for some podcast but for this podcast i wouldn't mark that as explicit like i'm not going to put in an explicit rating for the word damn or for the word hell because i i don't find that offensive i feel like it's you know like what the hell are you doing kind of th- I, I just And I don't normally talk in like a lot of explicit, I can't ever say that word, expletives. (laughs) Is that the right way to say that? Expletives. I don't really use a lot of that on the podcast because that's not really how I speak on a regular basis. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? Mama's got some cuss words in her, but she chooses to censor herself because she has three little ones running around. It's just me and my husband talking about certain things. Like, that's a totally different story. But I'm just, so on this podcast, I don't necessarily cuss a lot because that's not who I am. Now, I will go on like another tangent real fast and say I used to work in the construction business and I came home with the world's worst potty mouth and my husband was like, it's rubbing off on you. But I mean, that was just the culture. Like going back to culture, 
that's just how everyone spoke. Like I was on the job site and it was really bad. And then I was in the office and it wasn't as bad. But then I would go into like the senior leadership meeting because my boss was in there and I was like taking something to her. And then I heard like the CEO and one of the VPs like saying some stuff. And I was like, whoa, okay. So I guess it just depends on who you're around on like what is acceptable and what is not. So I would just go with your gut when it comes to... um what you think would be like, if if you don't want your kids to hear it, it's probably explicit and it needs to be marked as such. Now, I've had the question is, uh, does it hurt my rankings? Like if, if I mark this as explicit, like am I gonna get flagged? And like, it's just gonna be, oh my gosh, they're gonna sh- bust sprout or who, my hosting site is gonna shut down my account. Apple Podcasts won't take my, no. Are you kidding me? Joe Rogan, has probably one of the dirtiest mouths like out there. And he has consistently a top five podcast of all the podcasts. So if he hasn't been taken off the air, then there's a good chance that you're perfectly fine with your one cuss word slip out of every 50 episodes. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about it. Like, but I do think that it can hurt your ranking if you don't mark your content as explicit and then someone's listening to it. Like I'm a listener. I'm listening in my car with all of my kids. Like we're on a road trip and they're playing on their tablets in the back and I'm doing my thing. I'm listening to my podcast, like through the car speakers. Then all of a sudden there's like 20 cuss words in a row. And I'm like, whoa, like where was the heads up guys? Like I I, want to know that there's going to be explicit content in a podcast episode so I could put my headphones in. I could put my earbuds in. Like I know to not listen to Marie Forleo unless I got my headphones close because she cusses like a sailor. And I appreciate that about her. That's just who she is and she owns it. And she always says, I don't want you to offend yourself because that's what she thinks. She's like, I'm not being offensive. Like this is just how I talk. But if you are offended, you are offending yourself with the way that I speak, then go ahead and put some headphones in. So I appreciate that about her because she just lets you know like, hey, this is who I am. This is how I'm going to talk. I'm not going to censor myself so you feel better or so that you can listen to this content. Like go ahead. It's the same with Gary Vaynerchuk. He's very like explicit in a lot of things like he loves the f word and he loves like just calling it like it is and I appreciate that about him but I also like to know like that is the content that he's putting out so I can be prepared for how I listen to it around my family so if you are a podcaster and you are trying to decide like maybe you don't cuss but this has happened to me several times where I've been in an interview and And someone will say something and I'm like, oh, I guess we're saying that, you know, like because there wasn't the communication about it beforehand. So if you are someone who does not care if you cuss or if you're a guest cuss on your show, then it's not that big a deal. You upload your episode, you click the explicit content button when you're, you know, putting it in your hosting site and then everyone goes on about their way, no one cares. But if you are someone who just strongly disagrees with any sort of foul language, you don't want it as part of your podcast, you have two options. So one, you can have a conversation with your guest or anyone on your show beforehand and say, hey, look, we don't do this on this podcast. There will be no cussing. They're like, I don't want any of this language. But just so you know, if it does slip, we will bleep you. Like those are, those are really your options. You can just tell them ahead of time and then you can also bleep them if that happens and you don't want that kind of language on your show. And I could do a totally different video, a different episode about um, how you go through and like use your tool, but there's just like the effects tool within your, um, your software. You should be able to go in and like put a bleep or you can silence whatever they say, you can delete it, whatever you want to do, but definitely let someone know ahead of time if that is your plan to do that, because some people probably don't care. They're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Like, oh, you know, I didn't mean for that to slip. That's okay. And then some people may not want you to do that. And it's just, it's so much of the language is really subjective on what is explicit, what is okay for 
this audience may be totally unacceptable for someone else's. And what is like, someone may like, I know, like if I were to have Marie Forleo on this podcast, I would have to just be prepared to let y'all know like, hey, this is just who she is and how she talks. So either we're going to have a lot of bleeps or this episode is going to be marked explicit. And that is going to come down to you as the podcaster, like your integrity of what you want your show to be. And it's going to come down to what your listeners expect, because I could see this affecting your ranking if you don't mark your content as explicit and your listeners don't think that it is, then all of a sudden it's like you you flip the coin on them and you're this totally different person or podcast for a few episodes with your explicit content. Now, if I was listening to something and I heard a whole bunch of cussing all of a sudden, it wouldn't offend me, but I would think, well, why didn't they mark it explicit? So you just want to make sure like it, it, it really is. It's a very blurred line. I can't sit here and say it's very black and white in what's allowed, what's acceptable. But just know that if if you cuss in your podcast, it's fine. It's totally fine. Like you're not going to get put in podcast jail for cussing. But you just want to make sure you communicate that with your, uh, I was going to say with your family, with your podcast, with your podcast family, you want to make sure that you um, really kind of set that expectation either from the get go or, you know, let's say you just like, you want to let loose. Like maybe that's your personality and you're like, I've really been holding back and I've wanted to let some like the freak flag fly and like really just say what's on my heart and it's going to involve cussing and it's going to involve this and th- that's fine. But you need to mark your content as such. That way people can decide whether they want to continue to listen to that or they're like, oh, I need to put my headphones in. Because that's that's how I am as a consumer of podcasts. I just put my headphones in and I just say, okay, well, here we go. We're gonna we're just going to go on this journey with the headphones in because that's just how I prefer to listen to certain people. And it's totally fine. It's totally fine. So let me know what you think about explicit content. I would love, uh, wherever you're listening to this, leave me, uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you think is explicit content. You don't have to write all the words, guys. I know the words in the dictionary that I consider very offensive and ones that I'm just kind of like, man, eh, that's not a bad one, but you don't have to put any of that. But I do want to know your thoughts on explicit content and what you think, because this is a really interesting topic. I haven't had a lot of explicit episodes on here because like I said that's not really my personality even when I get super fired up unless it's like something I don't know the only conversations I can think of is conversations with my mom and with my husband and with my dad like from time to time and it's not like an argumentative thing it's just like oh I'm so fired up and then like oh one of them slips out and I'm like oh my bad (laughs) sorry didn't mean to say that but for the most part it's just I don't know. I I think it has to do with having small kids at home. I used to have a really bad mouth when I was younger. Like I said, when I worked at that other job and when I was in my teen year, like college, all that, like I had a very, very foul mouth. But I think having kids, I'm like, okay, I need to clean it up a little bit because I don't want them talking to me like that. (laughs) So I need to, I need to rein it in a little. So who knows, maybe this content will be super explicit one day when all the kids are out of the house and they're not listening to, you know, I don't have to censor myself. I have no idea. But I just wanted to tell you what explicit content is and how you should use it for your podcast and the things to be mindful of, because I think it's important if it's important to your audience. So that's all I have for you today, guys. So check out the show notes, crystalprofit.com slash episode 137. And remember, Profit Podcasting, ooh, ooh, you need to go check it out because the digital course is about to open and I'm really excited because it got a facelift and it looks totally different, but it's still the same content. It just looks a whole lot better and I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to be available for everybody and I hope that you go check it out if you're interested. So again, Go to ProfitPodcasting.com to check out all the things. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.
Hey, Profit Podcast listeners, thanks for sticking around to a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in an upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.